Hello, Klaus. I'm a subscriber of your channel. Really like your videos. I found you when I was looking for Clash of Clans videos, naturally. I really would like to add you as a friend of my account, so please make some room for me. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I'm about to max out Town Hall 3 and about to go to Town Hall 4, my account that I'm doing with you. My tag is blah, 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 blah. So you can friend me. My name is Revelation. It's the last book in the Bible in the New Testament. Yes, that's what I said in the first episode. Thanks for the content and keep it up, Wyatt. Thank you, Wyatt, for the email, my dude. I really appreciate it. Uh, I wanted to read out his email today because I actually got a friend request from him. Um, so there you go. Revelation. Spelled differently. It might not be the same revelation, but it is a revelation. And I had a revelation. Today, we're going to be covering the rules with something a little bit better. Welcome to Gold Pass Clash, guys, where the rules are simple. We're going to buy the Gold Pass plus $5 every single month. We're going to keep the builders busy 24-7. And we're going to record their, our progress after one year and then resume our older series. This is different than my old series. I'm excited about it. Also, P.S., don't forget to use code Klaus. Yes, subliminal messaging at its finest. Welcome, guys, to Gold Pass Clash, where today, all three of my builders are actually busy. I have a lunch. I have to get to so it's not the scheduling is not going to work out this is going to happen quite often to be honest uh so sorry <laughs> but we're going to be working on uh tunnel four right now i've got tunnel four rocking and rolling and i've actually done primarily like off camera storages elixir collectors gold mines things like that so like my storages i think are all level seven now which means i've got to upgrade them all one more time and uh the collectors and mines like the new collector and mine are level six i think all of them are level six which means all of these also get two upgrades left which is crazy i've finished the lab so that's amazing but my barracks is finally unlocking the balloons so that means that i'm gonna have to upgrade them in the lab once that's done i've also maxed out my army camps so that means that i'm now able to hold 80 troops and that actually means this is going to be off a little bit and why do i have 21 barbarians 19 archers my math last night before bed was way off you know whenever you're going to have uh, an army camp upgrade you try to figure it out to where the troops from this army bounce into the troops um of your first army once the army camp unlocks and it didn't work my math it was it was flawed for sure so i'm just going to add six archers and four barbarians that should give me 2020 which is a terrible gear we don't want to think about that but uh it was yeah we, we're good now so there's the there's the army that we're going to be using today guys uh what else do i need to update you guys on not really i'm gonna upgrade to the clan castle so i'm now able to hold 15 troop capacity i've got three balloons so let's go and try to take out thoroughfare i think that's really the only actually i'm gonna waste loot if i do that man <laughs> that's okay it's not a lot of loot uh, i'm gonna try to take out thoroughfare last time i told you guys oh this this thing's too strong so we're gonna give it a try this time and see what happens so first things first um looking for mortars okay we've got mortars we got one mortar okay okay i, I know what i'm gonna do i know what i'm gonna do I, you know, our giants over here uh get the wall breakers why are they going so far <laughs> okay you guys go through there there you go now second thing i want to do is get the barbarians and help out with the air defenses, all right? And then also the archers. Like once I'm able to get those down, it's very important that we get those down. Once the, ar the air defenses goes down, I can deploy these balloons and it's go time. We got this three star. So let's just hope for that one to go. Come on. Yes. Okay, balloons get in there. Start your progress. Start your destruction. Start your absolute evaporation of the goblin base. That'd be amazing. Now, literally, okay, so um, I, I did a little bit of research between episodes, guys, and Town Hall 5 is when air bombs come about. So that means some of these goblin maps might have air bombs, and that'd be terrible for my balloons. So I'm just saying, we gotta keep our eyes open. So while we wait on these balloons to slowly destroy the base, let's discuss next episode, okay? Last time i shared my email and i said hey send me an email i may or may not read it and i did i, I read wyatt's email shout out to wyatt once again for the uh, for the message i love getting you guys' emails uh, and i love reading comments so don't forget to leave me a comment in these videos i i read them all i heart the ones that i heart i don't heart the ones that i don't heart right so one thing about the email i had somebody email me and ask me to give them malachi Malachi, my account. They wanted me to give them my account. <laughs> That's just silly. It was disappointing to read that email. Anyway, so if you guys want your email read or shown in the next episode, here's what I want you to do. I want you to send me some art. Send me something 
draw something, create something in Photoshop, whatever, that that represents your your experience with the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel. Maybe something that's a, a, your favorite memory from the channel, something like that. And I will share it in tomorrow's episode. But hey, look at that. We got ourselves a three star. So that was a lot of loot. Not really. 20,000 is really not a lot. Uh, I've already maxed out my storages again with three builders busy. Check this out, though. I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I've won every defense that I've gone up against so far, except for this first one. This one brought lightning spells and balloons. So this one's probably a higher town hall level than mine. Tunnel six. That's right. And or five. I can't tell the difference between the two. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was my attacks. And you'll notice um, the last three attacks were over 100,000 a piece. And I think I did one that was more than that. 100, 168,000 a piece. I mean, that is that is a lot. That is a lot. So my my all time record has been busted and it is good. Let's collect some achievements, guys. Um, between episodes, obviously doing a lot of upgrades. So uh, Clan Castle level two, 10 gems. Uh, destroy 10, 10 town halls and multi battle, multiplayer battle, five gems, destroy 25 builder huts, five gems, destroy 100 walls, 10 gems. I might be at a thousand gems already. Upgrade builder hall level three. I've been working on that off camera. 10 gems, uh, sneaky arches and build, uh, builder barracks. There you go, unbuild it, destroy five builder halls, and also achieve 200 trophies. So that is a lot of gems. In fact, I've cracked 1,000 gems. Now, the question is, does it make more sense? to save these gems or not because you can buy the builder plus 1000 gems for five dollars but you can also just simply buy the gems for oh look at that five dollars gets you 500 gems or the special uh builder pack is a thousand gems for five dollars so if you wanted to buy the gems and then get the builder you could do that for half the price for the gems or you just spend your gems I mean, that's what they're there for, right? I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is there for the next episode, the fifth builder, because I'm already at the fourth for the, for the fifth builder, does it make more sense to use the gems that I've got or does it make sense to buy it? All right. And then of course we'll get the sixth builder from auto in the builder base. So I've got a fourth builder, which means I get to spend some loot. This is exciting because I, I was really sad that I wasn't going to get to use any builders today. So 50,000 gold, go ahead and spend that. I'm, I'm probably going to spend all of my gold here. Um, just trying to, you know, be cool and, uh, max my walls and such. So there's that. I've also got a lot of loot in the treasury, so it would be cool if I was able to spend those. Let's see how much, how much is this going to be? 90,000 gold. Holy cannoli here, here, here. Let's collect the, or let, let's actually look ahead now before I spend more loot. What am I going to upgrade? Um, I'm going to upgrade a storage and ideally I'd be able to hold more Gold. So that means I'm going to spend elixir on a gold storage, which means I can spend all of my gold. That is awesome. So if I just notch out that corner piece and there you go, 80,000 gold right there. Perfect. And I can't spend more elixir because just simply can't have nowhere to put it. So let's upgrade a, uh, a gold storage. Let's, let's, let's upgrade this one. 50,000 gold, five hour upgrade. Bam. Nice. All right. So that is awesome. Uh, I'm out. I'm, I'm looking look at the capacity 250,000. I'm thinking like last episode, I was like 50,000. So we've made some major progress. Plus these upgrades double the capacity basically again. So we're, we're looking really good. Things are looking really good right now. So now, um, I'm going to request for my balloons again, get this army going, but I really can't. I mean, I guess I could do another raid. You've received level five balloons from use code Klaus. Yes, that's awesome. So now let's go do another raid. This time I'm going to do a single player raid. So not a single player, uh, a multiplayer. So let's go. Let's do this thing. I'm already at 500 trophies. This happens super fast, but I, I'm forgetting that I'm winning defenses. Like, it's just not something that I watch for. And I'm out of gold. Dang it. Okay. Um, I guess, man, that's lame. Hold on. I'm going to fix that problem. I have to wait for my gold mines to do some work. So in the meantime, guys, I've had a lot of people, including Wyatt from the email, ask me about my friend request list. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. I've explained it last episode. I'll explain it this episode and probably next time too. Um, I am actually going to be accepting all 10 of these friend requests that's in this list right before this video goes live, which means send me a friend request. As soon as these videos go live, get on and send me a friend request because if you do, odds are 
if you're fast, you'll be able to join this list and then I'll be able to show you in the next episode and then accept and that's how this is going to work. So if you want to be on my friends list, then uh, turn on notifications on these videos, obviously subscribe and uh, then whenever you see a video go live, hop on my account. I will probably end up accepting all of these and then posting the video so that I make sure that the list is open. And by the way, I, I realized that it would be really easy for you guys if I just sent you a friend request from your little tag that you share with me in the comments of the videos. But if everyone did that, then I wouldn't have any time to make videos or have a life. So please don't ask me to send you a friend request uh, because, I again, I have limited friends list spaces for one. And for two, if I start doing that for one person, I've got to do it for everybody and it would just be terrible. Much love. I have 700 gold, which means I have seven chances <laughs> to find a base that's decent. Oh, come on, man. Let's go. Fine. You know what? Practice round it is. It's kind of reassuring seeing how these practice rounds are designed because they're saying after the mortars destroyed, deploy your goblins. Like that's literally what I do right now for um for my barbarians and archers. Like I don't really use goblins a lot. Maybe I should, but it is is reassuring to see that uh, the designers of the practice round, which you presume designed the game, are, are telling you to just hold up and wait a minute until um this is all done. So we're we're looking good so far. My art, my goblins just got wrecked by a bomb, so kind of would like, would have preferred for that not to be the case, but it looks like the last defense is going down, so it's just a matter of time before I get all this beautiful loot. So one thing I really like about these goblins is how fast they move. I forgot about this. Look at this. Watch this. They're, they're going to run. Look at these giants. They got no chance. Like, they're just trying. There's no way. Of course, we had a spring trap, so the giants might actually get there, but they're fast, dude. Oh, hey, and there you go. 100,000 gold. That gives me plenty of gold now. No, I don't want to do it on my own. I do it on my own all the time. Now that I've got plenty of gold, now let's go find a base that's got lots of gold and max out that storage. I realize my elixir is already maxed out, but that's fine. Wow. Okay. Um, this is a strong base, but I don't have to three start. I just have to get some of it. And then I'm like, I'm good to go. Right. Uh, so let's, and the air defense is on the outside. So that makes it even easier. So let's go guys. Uh, balloons, not balloons. Sorry. Giants. Uh, you guys are going for the air defense first to naturally. Let's get the wall breakers in there too. Okay. My, uh, my mortar timing was bad that time. <laughs> and there we go. The giants have begun targeting the, uh, the air defense and we might end up, you know what? We might end up needing to put the uh, the balloons here. Let's put the balloons over here. I just want to tighten up the giant's formation and maybe they could get the mortar a little bit faster. This wizard tower is going to be a problem, even for the balloons, to be honest. Um, everyone's splitting. No one's splitting. It's perfect. And everyone's now, oh, now everyone's splitting. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the mortar's gone now. So let's put the barbarians and archers up here drop the last wall breaker for funsies and oh man yeah look at those balloons they're getting shredded right now odds are oh wow death damage for the win that was awesome so odds are we're not going to three star this because this little um wizard tower here might ruin it although they don't do a lot of let's see watch this watch 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 oh they're they, they, he missed that first shot that was amazing and he's not doing a lot of damage wizard towers aren't known for their point damage they're known for the splash damage which works very well on groups which means we just got ourselves another three star <laughs> excellent looks like i got myself another set of achievements uh 10 gems for stealing i've sold a million gold and elixir now that's what's up so we're slowly going to work our way now to 2000 gems for the builder number five so i think that'll do it for us today guys i've got no more builders left so there's nothing i can do um we got gems we got a max storage unit we got four builders now in three days i mean that's crazy right that's amazing maybe by next episode i'll be town hall five that would be amazing as well and um yeah don't forget to uh drop me a comment down below let me know your thoughts and if you're enjoying today's or this series and i'll see you all next time